Hey Cam fam, welcome back to my channel. Today is a part two of the things I regret buying. So before we move on to that part that you're waiting for, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button so you're always notified whenever I have new videos like this one. We've already done my shoes that I regret buying. Today, we're gonna do the bags that I regret buying. Again, as I've said before, in life, there's no such thing as regrets, only mistakes that we learn from. But yeah, these are bags that I loved at one point, but now I realize that maybe, you know, I can live without them. No, I could have saved up and just used it for something else that I would love and use even more instead of these babies that I no longer use as much. Are you ready? Let's do this. So we have eight bags all in all. Let's start strong. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun. So this is the Celine luggage, which I super duper loved at one point in my life. I remember I really really was like super duper saving up for them because I love them so 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 much. But I did try to use them a lot of times before when they were new. But now I always find myself like if I needed a big bag, I would reach out for some other bag, not this one, because they're so heavy. Guys, nung pinangala nila siyang Celine luggage, they were not kidding. It really does feel like you're lugging a luggage around. Lugging a luggage around. <laughs> it really does feel like you're carrying a luggage around with you because it's so heavy, and I don't know why. I still love the color combination. I still love the style. It's just that practicality wise, I feel like it's affecting my back, my scoliosis, my age, like a workout. So if you're into like working out while you're looking fashionable, then maybe you wanna get a silly luggage. Will I ever sell this? I'm not sure. Even though I do somehow regret buying them and I could have like bought something else. I don't know if I wanna sell them just because I really, really wanted to have one of these luggages. I don't know. It's again, I'm being sentimental. Honestly, this is the start of hoarding. It's a hoarder's documentary, but yeah. Guys, it's so So anyway, but they're really heavy. See? My muscles are already coming out just, just to show you guys. Oh. Next up on my list, the second one is this bowling bag by Givenchy. I loved it at one point. Again, I mean, it served me well. But the reason why I don't really use this as much, so that's why I'm regretting buying this and I should have just gone for something else, is because it's so white. It's chalky white. And the texture of the leather is also the type that's super duper high maintenance. I could have just gone for something a bit more low maintenance. But again, it is still beautiful. It's a very classic shape. But yeah, that's the only reason why. Ang high maintenance, yeah, guys. And honestly, we don't have time for that. The third bag is Ta -da! this backpack from Chanel. <sighs> Let me just clarify. I still love it. I still find it beautiful. The color is beautiful. I remember saving up for this so, so much. Chasing after this backpack in a lot of different Chanel stores because they were always, always, always sold out. And the reason why is because after buying it, I just also end up not using it as much. Well, number one, it's because the Asian Dita in me is very paranoid. I always feel like someone's trying to steal from me because it's a backpack. And number two is that it's so inconvenient to use because it's a thing where the strap is like a one strap thing so if i pull this then this becomes shorter so it's like that type so you have to balance it out like this so it balances out and then i always have to ask someone to open it for me it's easier for someone to open it for me as opposed to me opening it because then this gets stretched out and then it gets like lousy and it's just a lot of a lot of different logistics happening but i do love this it's just that it's not as convenient to use that's my only problem it's because of this strap thing and yeah and if you're carrying a lot then also droops down harder to open stuff like that but it is still beautiful and i don't think i'll ever sell it so i don't think i've learned from this mistake because i still do love it but yeah you know that's the only reason why i mean for the price i wish i used it more i've always been a believer like my mom would always say that take care of your bags don't put it on the floor don't do that don't put too much blah 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 i always tell mom you bought such an expensive bag i think it can handle the weight or i think it can handle this and that i mean to buy such an expensive bag and just end up like showcasing them and not actually using them as a bag is such a waste i feel like that's even more of a waste of money than getting like a few scratches here and there i honestly do want my bags to be used as a bag so that is why this is on the list because i feel like i haven't been able to use it as much so that's the only reason why it's here because nga, there are other more convenient bags for me to use and that's why i don't use it as much for the price i wish i used it more and for my fourth 
bag that I regret buying is this one. At one point, Moschino bags were super duper cute, always a talk of the town, but I end up not using this because I get so shy every time I walk, parang people know, okay, Camille's coming. I feel like this must be what Penny and Pixie feels, and Noodle, whenever they're walking in the... Also, it's quite heavy for its size because of this chain over here. And I feel like it's no longer my style, it's not something that I would use anymore. So I just feel like it's too trendy of a bag, so I don't have ROI because, you know, it was just trendy and pretty at one point. It's not so classic that, yeah, it just, I, I don't think it's the kind of bag that grows with me. So that's why I regret buying them. Fifth bag that I regret buying is this one by Philip Lim. I love this color at one point. It's such a nice electric blue color. But the thing is, the leather is so thick that it's so, so, so heavy. For its size, it's super duper heavy. I feel like a lot of these bags here, the reason why they're part of this list is because it's they're not as convenient, not as practical to use, or like not as easy to use. And whenever a bag is heavy, you just always end up reaching out for something that's lighter. You know, you don't want to be carrying like a super duper heavy thing every time you're traveling traveling or going around on a busy day, running errands. So that's why I don't use this as much. And yeah, so that's why this is here in this list because it's heavy as F. It's pretty though. The color is pretty but they're really heavy. I feel like they're so stuffy na kasi. Again, I also don't think... No, actually it is still my style. But yeah, they're heavy. I mean, it's heavy. Okay. So this sixth bag on my list is ta-da! This one by Provenza Schooler. I feel like this is part of my on sale kasi so na biktima ako. So it was on sale. It was also at that time when everyone like wanted to have this kind of bag. So nadala na naman me. And I loved it because it was like a special edition. Also, I remember the sales lady was telling me, oh, you know, the special edition. Not a lot of people have that design, blah, blah, blah. So here I go again, getting fooled into buying. So that is why I feel like this was such an impulse purchase. And I I haven't really been able to use it as much. It's such an edgy piece of bag, so it's also not so much my style anymore. And I feel like it's so bulky, so it's also not the type that I'd always bring with me whenever I travel because I do prefer like thinner, slimmer, smaller bags. So that's it. Honestly, sales ladies, like that sales lady who sold me this was really, really good. She's the whole reason why I bought this. So she is the reason why I have another regret here. Another, it's on sale so I purchased it type of regret is this bag from Fendi. First of all, it's beautiful. It really is. I mean, look at it. It's so nice. It's also not as heavy as the Celine luggage, but it is pretty inconvenient to use because it's super duper big and fat. I mean, there's stuff inside. Unlike the Celine luggage, it doesn't hold its shape. So it is kind of, I don't know, it's a very peculiar type of bag. I mean, it is beautiful, but the reason why I regret buying it is that I feel like I bought it because it was on sale. It was part of the fire sale of Rustad's. And so, actually it doesn't have that fire sale smell anymore. But yeah, I just feel like, I don't know, I just don't use it as much. That's why it's here. Nadala ko sa sale, guys. It is beautiful though. It's not as heavy as the Celine luggage, but it is also still kind of heavy, which is why I don't use it. But it's beautiful, right? It's so madam. Facundo, take the horse out. I'm gonna go to the grocery. <laughs> Just kidding. And last but not the least, actually I didn't purchase this, so maybe my mom regrets purchasing this. I did, however, play an important role in her purchasing this. Ta-da! This beautiful Alexander McQueen clutch. Now, I love, love, love Alexander McQueen. I love him. I'm such a huge fan. I have his book. I have his like fashion book. It's always been a dream of mine to own like an original Alexander McQueen like gown. I love watching his fashion shows. He is a true genius, a true artist. And that is why I super duper wanted one of these clutch bags that he designed. And I was telling my mom that, mom, you need to get that. It's so good. I mean, look at that knuckle bag thing. It's super duper chic. It's like an accessory of its own. And look at this leather. It's so beautiful. But the thing is guys, nothing fits in it. Nothing. So I also end up not using it because my phone doesn't fit in it. Nothing. It's just really your lipstick maybe and like my oil film and that's it. It's really got a tiny, tiny thing there. It's also heavy, like super duper heavy. Also, I'm always so scared to drop it because again, it's like a work of art. I feel like can't get scratched. Can't, it's just, it's just, it just makes me a paranoid mess. So <laughs> that is why. So I feel like this is the kind of bag that where my mom would be happy because I would actually just showcase this. Actually, I'll just put it in a shelf and then never use it. It'll just be a decoration. Decor. A decor in the Kokoro house. But it's so beautiful, you guys. 
So I feel like these things that I include in the things that I regret buying, it's not that I didn't love them at one point, it's not that I don't still find them beautiful, it's not that I really want to throw them out already or sell them out. It's just that I decided to include them on this list because I feel like I could have gone for something more practical or I wish I could have used it more so that I feel like na ROI ko talaga yung binayaran ko. Like I feel like it's really a good investment because I was able to use it the best way that I could. So I feel like that's the main reason why these things are here. And yeah, I, I've truly learned from all these purchases. I feel like as I get older, I've been more careful. I'm not as impulsive. I don't just get carried away because it's just a beautiful piece. I always, always think that will I ever be able to use it again? Will I be able to keep this forever and ever and still find it beautiful? Will I be able to use this over and over again? Will it grow old with me? Will I be comfortable using it? Because before, I'd always think, that, okay, this is beautiful. I can wear it for two, one hour, two hours. That's fine. I mean, it's part of the job. I just have to be fashionable then. And then I, it's just now, even though it's just a one hour event, I just really don't want to suffer anymore. So I feel like I know myself better now. So if I feel that I would be uncomfortable bringing this around or I'd be hassled bringing this or wearing this, I usually just end up not buying them and this is also the main reason why I no longer have high heels like a lot of high heels so yeah how about a ko no but anyways this is the bags that I regret buying edition I hope that you enjoyed this vlog if you missed my shoes edition then just click on that this link maybe I'll put a link here after this and yeah give me your thoughts if you guys want to give some of these babies a new home except for actually I, mean, I don't know I don't think I'm gonna sell them but anyway some of them will be sold probably anyway I'm still babbing again leave me a comment below and give me a thumbs up thanks again for watching I love you guys I love you Cam Cam Mwah.